Welcome, and thank you for joining today's webinar on optimizing your supply chain with SAP Transportation Management. Apologies for any confusion. The calendar invite was for one hour, but this will be a 30-minute webinar. During our presentation, we will focus on what SAP TM is, the value it provides, the new features in TM 9.5, S4 HANA Embedded TM, and what it takes to implement SAP TM. Today's speaker is Georgie Norkin, the SAP TM practice lead here at Crypt. Georgie has over 13 years of experience, including four years in SAP development and six years in project management at SAP America and SAP Client. On the next slide, I'll go over some quick housekeeping tips. If questions come up during the webinar, please, please type them in the panel as shown in the example. We'll be addressing questions at the end of the presentation. If we run out of time and don't get to your question, we'll be sure to follow up with you afterwards. On the next slide, I'd like to quickly introduce Crypt for those of you who are less familiar with us. Crypt was established in 2008 and is a leading SAP consulting partner. Although we operate globally, we consider ourselves a boutique consulting firm that lives by our founding principles of innovation, collaboration, and drive. These principles have allowed us to complete over 800,000 SAP consulting hours in various industries. Our services focus around implementations, upgrades, and customizations for various SAP solutions, including trade, transportation, warehouse, planning, IBP, and HANA. We also offer proprietary solutions, integration services, and work closely with SAP for ramp ups and testing. On the next slide, I'd like to share some of our thought leadership. We strive to be thought leaders in the supply chain ecosystem, and we've accomplished this by authoring books in addition to writing blogs and white papers, which are available on our website. Moving to the next slide. This is an overview of our proprietary offerings, which complement the SAP suite. I wanted to briefly highlight Crypt Connect, located in the middle of the solution list. This particular solution can be integrated with non-SAP ERP systems, which many people find valuable. Moving on to the next slide. Over the years, we've had the opportunity to work with a variety of companies within the SAP supply chain space, and some of them are highlighted here. And with that, I'll pass it over to Georgie. Thank you, Rachel. Um, so I'd like to briefly uh, introduce uh, our agenda for today. Um, we'll talk a little bit about uh, TM in general, what, uh, what this solution is about. We'll talk about S4 HANA. Uh, we'll look into memory hierarchy. We'll look into different deployment options of SAP TM. We'll look uh, into embedded version um, of SAP TM into HANA, as well as a standalone version, and some of the new enhancements uh, that were uh, introduced in release 9.5. And I will conclude my presentation with uh, our own product, Crypt Visibility, and our implementation approach to the solution. So what is SAP TM? Um, SAP TM is a single transportation pl platform uh, to address all your transportation needs. Um, it's, uh, SAP has heavily invested over the years into this solution, and since 2008, the solution went through a number of major releases. And each release, as we move along, company adds um, major improvements in all areas for logistics service providers as well as shippers. And this strong com commitment and focus on this application and solid plans for the next um, uh, for the for the next several years allowed the company to move into a quadrant uh, for, for leaders. If you look on the left side, Gartner positioned SAP TM solution in uh, year 20, uh, 2014 as, as a visionary, and now it has moved into leaders quadrant. So it uh, surely shows strong commitment of SAP into this solution. Um, the solution can support um, high uh, volume operations. Um, there are companies that push tens of thousands of orders every day, so which means that you can really turn up your solution to fully automate your processes, but at the same time, you can manually uh, have manual interventions. Right? So also solution um, has been implemented by many customers, again, ranging from small companies uh, to large enterprises globally. So it's not only that company, uh, companies implement in specific region, we'll see strong adoption by um, numerous companies, not only in North America, but across the globe, in APAC, um, in Latin America, and in Europe as well. 
uh, solution supports inbound and outbound processes, a uh, combination of uh, ocean, rail, and truck shipments. Um, you can plan each transportation leg separately with different means of transports. Um, you can also, so the solution also supports international and domestic shipments. So over time, <clears throat> when you bring all of your shipments into one system, um, it will al allow you to run analytics and historical data. Right? So the also solution supports to, uh, integration with other um, SAP applications, such as uh, event management, uh, BW, uh, and enterprise warehouse management. Uh, so the system also just not only allows you to control how products physically moved, but you can also control the data mo movement within your organization because natively SAP TM integrates with other components. So this screen shows uh, main buildings blocks uh, of the application. Uh, they don't have to be implemented all at once in one shot. Um, you can start small and go big and gradually introduce existing processes to this platform. And uh, over, over the years, we've seen that this is exactly what customers are doing. They start small, they can start with order management, for example, gradually do planning, optimization, freight settlement, and costing. So strategic freight management. So this is where you, this, so this module allows you to get the base rates from carriers. That's, this is where you get the quotes from them, evaluate responses, and award business in log agreements in forms of freight agreements and forwarding agreements. Order management is used to bring your orders into the system and have a nice and clear visibility. TM works on the ground, so sales orders, purchase orders, shipments and deliveries. Transportation planning is one of the major pieces. Um, so this is, uh, you utilize this component to, for route planning and optimization. Uh, you can control how products um, load into the truck. You, uh, there are not a number of tools to really help you with that. Uh, with uh, we, we can start with graphical representation of certain <clears throat> uh, movements of boxes within your truck. You can drag and drop them. So it's a very, very nice tool. As well, it has an optimizer uh, that can uh, really uh, plan your routes. Transportation execution. So this, um, this block is basically represents integration with other components. Um, for example, with GTS, uh, with warehouse management, uh, you also can create forwarding agreements and quotations from CRM opportunities. Freight costing and settlement. So this typically, um, this module is implemented at a later point of time when your order's already in the system. So it will allow to well, basically rate your orders, which means you can get the carrier rates and see how much it'll cost you to ship one product. Uh, and you can get different rates from different carriers. You can rate shop, you can configure the system in a way where you manage your rates in the system. When you rate your order, you will get d d different rates from different carriers. And you can configure the system so it'll pick, pick up the cheapest carrier. Um, you can manage all of your rates internally in, in the system. We've seen customers that have thousands and thousands of rate tables with millions of entries in each of those rate tables. You can also integrate TM with external rate providers, uh, companies such as SMC3. Uh, and the last block is it goes across the whole application. Um, SAP TM runs in a network business client. It's a web-based application. Some configuration done within um, network business client on the web and some in traditional SAP GUI screens. Uh, most of the screens within TM use power Powell, it's a personal object we released. Um, um, so these graphical representations and tables allow you to slice and dice data in different ways. Um, you can also um, run analytics and cost analysis, but for example, profitability analysis for freight forwarders. So next, uh, there are a lot of talks right now in the market about S4 HANA, why it's so quick and uh, what benefits it can bring you. What I would like to spend right now, maybe on one slide and talk about uh, why S4HANA is so quick, right? 
And uh, in order to understand that, we have to really go down into uh, deep into fundamentals computer science. So what you see on the screen here is the memory stack, right? So typically, this is what um, all operations within your servers, within your personal computers look like. You have a CPU, central processing unit, you have RAM, random access memory or main memory, and hard disk drive. So these are three ma major blocks. When you shop around for your server, uh, for a computer, these are usually three things that you look at. How much RAM you get, how much uh, hard disk drive space you get. So when the user puts a request and wants to see your sales orders or some photos in your computer, the CPU processes such requests and will pass the request through RAM into all the way to up, uh, your application data. And then application data is loaded into RAM and then presented to the user. So the problem here is that RAM is typically expensive. And when users request a lot of data, when you try to run your reports and you need to pull out data from multiple database tables, uh, there's only limited space of data you can hold in RAM. So in order to process to lar large chunks of data, you will have to swap the data back and forth between HDD and RAM. And this is where the most time uh, is lost. So what happens here is uh, with SAP HANA um, and when RAM is getting more and more expensive, is, is getting cheaper over time, and we have to, we have, have to say that RAM is typically uh, thousands times faster than HDD, right? So, and RAM is getting more and cheaper and cheaper. So this allow us and SAP, the company, to load application data into RAM versus storing that into hard disk drive. So it doesn't mean that all of your data is stored in RAM. It's still, when, when you save your order, when you create an order, it still uh, goes all the way down to hard disk drive. But when you actually run your application, it will request the data from RAM directly rather than going all the way to the hard disk drive. In addition to that, um, SAP also um, redesigned uh, how data is stored. Instead of uh, storing data in, in rows, now it's storing in columns. To see why it's beneficial, you know, we, it's, 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 it, we can have the whole separate discussion, but I think the most important aspect this year is that you read your data from um, what it's called in memory, right? Because it's RAM, it's fast, now you get your orders quickly, you can do reporting, instead of waiting for hours and hours, you can get your data pretty quick, right? So now, um, once we understand the concept uh, behind S4 HANA, um, let's look into deployment options. Um, traditionally, SAP uh, offered standalone version, which means you would have to implement uh, you have instance in a separate server, you would have to set up another box. And now SAP is offering SAP ETM is embedded version into your S4 HANA instance where you have your HR, SD, finance, and other components. So deployment options and benefits. Right? On the left side, you see here how TM is typically implemented as a standalone version. On a, here you can see the uh, separate instance of your uh, TM server, and on the right side you can have uh, SAP ECC or other legacy system. So what's important here to note is in order to make it work, you have to put a middleware, uh, something called process integration or PI, um, that will swap the data back and forth between your systems, transactional data, so all the orders, settlement documents, and things like that will, throw, will go through this system and core interface, or we call it SIF, right? So this is to bring your box data into TM. And you need to make sure that all of your products, vendors, and, and things like that allocations are available in TM. If they're not, when you try to send an order and master data is not there, you obviously will have a problem, right? So what customers typically do, they set up batch jobs, background jobs uh, that run in the ERP system and bring the data over into TM. On the right side, you can see the deployment options for as for HANA, now you can see that core interface is no longer in place because we're running the TM embedded in S4. Uh, you will still have to use uh, something called DRF, uh, Data Replication Framework, um, but you don't need to pass the data back and forth, right? So for, for example, with when you deploy 
standalone version, when you bring your orders in, you have to create what we call a, a shadow object, right? So when a sales order will be created in the, in, in the form of order-based transportation requirements, right? In S4 HANA, you don't need that. So because it's one instance, you will create freight units directly, right? So there's certainly some benefits to that. You know, you, you, your database footprint is definitely getting smaller. And again, uh, speed of processing is much, much faster in S4 HANA. So a few words about S4 HANA um, TM. Uh, it's a deployment alternative. Um, comparing to standalone version, it only uh, focused on shippers, not for logistic service providers. We have to keep in mind that this is very early release uh, of embedded version of TM. Um, SAP has strong commitment to deliver more and more functionality as we move forward. Um, it's a simplified landscape, certainly. Um, it integrates with other systems as well, SAP systems, EW, EM, GTS, and BW. Also, this system uh, has a single point of entry via uh, Fiori launchpad into your S4 instance as well as in TM. So you don't have to jump from one system to another. So everything is, um, is in one unified landscape. So what's not in TM embedded version? Again, the solution is focused on shippers, not logistic service providers. So forwarding settlement process and forwarding uh, orders are not available. Uh, strategic freight procurement is not is also not available. Sales order scheduling is not there. And uh, collaboration portal as well. So this is uh, a, a very big piece that is missing, um, which means you cannot do dispute management, uh, freight agreement, rate change requests, tendering, response RFQs, and award confirmation from carriers. However, uh, some of this functionality is available uh, by EDI, and also SAP is planning to replace this uh, by a cloud product called Logistics Business Network. Um, CRM integration is also not there, and there are no future plans for the embedded version. Um, this is an extensive list. Uh, but SAP has strong commitment, and this functionality will be coming in the near future. So now let's look into standalone version or SAP TM 9.5, and uh, and let, let's see what's new there. Right. So every really release, SAP introduces new functionality uh, pretty much across every single component within the application. Um, with 9.5. Um, there are multiple enhancements um, in usability, performance, and customizing. Uh, for example, in planning area, now you can use planning with multiple screens, uh, long request feature, uh, redo, undo. So now users can uh, sequentially compare multiple alternatives. Uh, in the area of package building, now you can use separators, palettes, and sleep sheets between different layers of products. Uh, forwarding orders, uh, you can ex uh, you can use exchange rate determination in TCM uh, in simplified charge confirmation. In the area of usability, um, there are a number of improve improvements in TCM or transportation charge management, uh, GAN chart planning, and in planning area, there are uh, a lot of minor enhancements uh, that allow planners uh, to use applications more effectively. All right, now let's look into overall TM as an application. Um, it's been, I would say, probably 10 years now since uh, SAP has been delivering this application. And there are right now over 700 uh, active implementations by both logistics service providers and shippers. Uh, it can be fully automated uh, and it can, have, it can have manual processes. We've seen customers that uh, push many, many orders through the system so the process is fully automated and planners and uh, analysts only react when something goes wrong, when some entry is missing or something um, is not configured properly and things like that. It's a combination of both inbound and outbound uh, transportation. 
It is comprehensive integration into core business processes, SAP ECC and other um, SAP applications. It's scalable. Uh, it's for small and large customers. You can start small, small and go large. Uh, it provides end-to-end -end visibility into transportation management processes. Um, as for S4 HANA, right now more than 7,900 customers and close to 1,000 customers active. Embedded version um, is available on-premise as well as the, on the cloud. There's some benefits to it. Uh, for example, you don't have to replicate your, some of your configuration, uh, some of your transactional data, some of your objects. You don't have to bring your master data in. It's a unified user experience and, of course, real-time analytics. So these are typical results uh, of organizations that adopt SAP TM. You can see the numbers are quite impressive. 77% um, average trailer run, less invoice errors. This is when you reach your orders in the system and you settle invoices with carriers. Right now, internally, the system allows you to see how much you spend. And now you can compare invoices coming in from the carriers and uh, set up alerts if there's a certain threshold is violated and things like that. And on average, you can you can save and reduce your spend by roughly seven to eight percent. Quick visibility. So I would like to um, briefly uh, talk about our own product that we developed in house. Um, our company we've been focusing on this. Uh, on, on SAP TM a uh, number of years. Uh, what we did, SAP in standard delivers uh, extractors. Uh, these are reports that come out. So you can push your data from your SAP TM into BW. So what we did, we built nice and light uh, UI to represent this data to users. Uh, it will help you to get better understanding of your processes within uh, within organization, you can see uh, you can you can see what answers um, uh, you can get um, uh, by utilizing our solution. So these are uh, the also we built um, our own dashboards um, with major blocks. It's an overview of of the whole TM system, of your freight orders, your sales order analysis. Uh, it's a very light UI layer. Uh, we pull pull out data from different sources and present it in easily understandable form. Uh, for example, uh, these dashboards, they show you a uh, number of sales sources and their status. For example, no stock available, credit limit block, GTS block, and things like that. On the freight order analysis, you can see how much uh, freight was moved by carrier, um, what are the carrier delays, uh, what's the split between carriers and things like that. Uh, we we also have uh, crypt visibility not only for TM but for other solutions for GTS and EWM. Uh, we've deployed the solution at some customers and we believe this solution will provide huge benefits to the organization. Our implementation approach. Over the years, uh, when we worked with a number of customers, we realized uh, that implementation is always a highly complex process. Um, SAP TM is a very flexible system. You can utilize it to pretty much to satisfy all of your transportation needs, right? But with this flexibility comes complexity, right? So as any other SAP application, TM is is complex, there are a number of screens, uh, number of configuration that you have to work through. So that's why we, we sat down and we thought how we can help our customers to implement quicker the solution, to really understand where the gaps are. And for this, uh, we built a group TM, uh, we call it group TM template. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pre-configured content, SAP content, uh, which has major and main uh, shipping scenarios. So we support uh, both outbound and inbound um, domestic and international scenarios. For example, drop ship, um, stock transfer orders, full truck load, less truck load. 
um, this, this solution basically will allow you to conduct um, early analysis and accelerate your implementation process. Um, you can deploy this in your sandbox environment and look into the processes. So there's certainly direct value in that and cost saving. And also we deliver all documentation, um, technical as well as good tours. Um, and this certainly will eliminate your technical hurdles um, and you can quickly find gaps, mitigate implementation risks. Okay, we also have uh, our YouTube channel. If you go to youtube.com and type Encrypt Inc., you will see that we have published number of scenarios. We have integration between ECC and EWM on the shipment integrated scenarios. We have some example of domestic shipment scenarios, overview of TM, international shipment scenarios as well. All right, so that was my last slide. Uh, with that, I would like to hand it over back to Rachel. Rachel? Rachel, I think you're on mute. All right, so I just got some notes from Rachel. So we have a couple of questions. Um, let me address them. So the first question I see is, uh, where do we see most challenges come from during the implementation process? So we work with a number of customers and um, we, we see that most of the problems arise right at the beginning when the project is set up and it's very crucial to put the right design in place at the very beginning. A lot of companies right now have uh, operations in different countries. In every country, every region has a uh, regional flavors, right? So it's important when you set up a project to bring all parties into more or less one room and have a workshop and address their requirements in a right way, right? So what we typically see, the right approach would be to have platform Right, that will, you know, the global design across all of the regions that you implement as the first wave and next wave will follow with the regional implementation. So I think it's very, very important to do the right design at the very beginning. Um, it's very important to do throughout testing. Um, we've seen examples <clears throat> that customers sometimes forget certain business scenarios, some data is not considered. And this will cause problems at the point of time. So testing is also very crucial as any other projects. Um, a lot of companies right now, they would like to, you know, utilize agile um, implementation approach. I think it doesn't really work for all companies. And in most of the cases within SAPTM, with these projects, I see uh, that the right approach probably would be to do the, some sort of combination of agile and waterfall implementation approach. <clears throat> because some companies that you just cannot afford to inject new requirements somewhere in the middle of the process. So it has to be a combination of both. All right. Um, also, we've seen examples when customers struggle with PI, um, you know, some queues getting piled, you know, messages piled up and things like that. So more of a technical nature, but I think as a, as, as, as a global implementation, you have to really consider global design and think, think had and consider all of the inputs from different regions and all the requirements should be in one in one place. For the second question, um, does SAPTM provide the ability to track means of transport? If I understand this question, uh, what this question is about, they're asking if you can track, uh, if you can track your uh, trucks for example, or uh, vessels. 
All right, so as far as I know, it's not available in standard. Um, however, there are third-party uh, trader data you can use. Um, there's, there are companies, actually, see an example during Sapphire, a company called Decarter. Uh, they have a product called MarkerPoint. They introduce um, this functionality so you can really integrate with them and track uh, your trucks uh, and see how, how they move on the, on the graphical representation in the map. How they, how they move. So the bottom line is, I believe it's not available in standard, but there are a number of uh, third-party providers that you can utilize, and that you can also integrate your party trader data with uh, event management. And also, event management provides you with a standard events, um, so you can track not actually your trucks, but you can track the status of your freight orders, freight units, and things like that. And all of this configuration in DM is available in standard, so if standard events available. All right, so I think uh, that was the last question. Um, and we're a little bit over time, but I would like to thank you everybody who joined us today. And uh, if you have any questions, please get in touch with us. Thank you.